Hello, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of It's Your City. I'm your host, Courtney Bloomer. Today's episode is once again sponsored by Indie Film America. Indie Film America offers an opportunity for students to take part in a summer film camp right here in Carson City. If you have a child who's interested in the film industry, either in front of the camera or behind the scenes, visit them on Facebook at Indie Film America or email them at IndieFilmAmerica at gmail.com. Our guest today is Victoria Melhuish. She uh, is a podiatrist at Sierra Foot and Ankle. Yes. All right, Sierra Foot and Ankle is uh, a local podiatry business for folks who might be needing a little extra help with their with their feet or their ankles the due to injury or or just yeah. any kind of any kind of condition. So tell us a little bit about uh, what a podiatrist does for people who might not know what that is. Um, pretty much, uh, depending on you know, it'll handle mechanical, so including surgical um, things, uh, ingrown toenails dermatitis conditions, gout, um, arthritis. So basically anything that can go wrong with your foot or your ankle, that's what a podiatrist will do. And your business is right here in Carson City. Yes, it is. And and you are pretty involved in, in the community in different ways, sponsoring events and, and doing things. What should uh, what should people know about Sierra Foot and Ankle? I think they should know uh, that it's a good place to go that if they have problems with their feet and ankles, that, um, that we could help get them back on their feet. I always kind of say that I like to get people to do what they love to do. So if you're, you know, like say you're a runner, I know you're a runner, and that uh, if you twisted your ankle or all of a sudden it's like you developed plantar fasciitis or heel pain and it was going to stop you from running, I'd be like, don't do that. Come in, see us. Let's make it, let's figure out, talk to you, figure out a plan of action and get you back to doing the activities you want to do. But it's not just for people who are avid athletes. Anybody no. can, that's that's experiencing pain or discomfort in their feet can benefit from your services. Of course. So, you know, seniors, so we do a lot of senior care. I mean, seniors develop problems like um, with their toenails, fungal toenails, very common. Uh, other things, balance problems that we can help with. Um, diabetics, you know, people as they get older, sometimes they develop diabetes. And podiatry is particularly important with diabetes because of things that can happen with the feet and then lead to devastating, you know, lifelong conditions that can develop. But we also deal with uh, kids, um, and kids get things like ingrown toenails and warts, so simple things. Sometimes even growing conditions where they get, they participate in sports and they get something called um, Seaver's disease, which is actually not a disease itself. It's just kind of a bone bruising that happens when they play sports at the growth center. So, um, so we kind of handle the whole gamut. So right now it's summertime. Yes. People want to be out and about in, in sandals or maybe mm -hmm. up barefoot on the beach. Mm -hmm. What are some foot care tips that people should know this time of year to, to keep their feet in good condition when they're, when they're you know, walking around yeah. barefoot or, or in flip-flops? I know those aren't the best for your oh, you feet sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's a great question, you know, because, so I think one of the first things I think about, especially in this dry climate, right? I mean, it's just like, you know, you come here, it's like, the moisture is all sucked out of your skin. It's going to do the same with your feet. So when they're exposed to the hot air, especially when there's certain type of flip-flops that are kind of made of a rubbery material, it has a tendency to draw the moisture out of your feet and you start to get cracked heels. Um, so put some, put some cream on your feet. People forget about it. They, can, they can, When they put cream on their body, they seem to stop at the ankles. So let's get some cream on the feet. Um, flip-flops, you know, they actually make some pretty good flip-flops that actually have natural built-in arch support. So if you wear the beach flop that's really flimsy, you know, don't, don't, do, don't, um, don't do an activity that has more walking with it. And if you really, if you like to wear flip-flops, let's just spend a little more money and get a flip-flop that won't hurt your foot. A uh, good brand is like Vionic. Um, Chaco is another brand. Um, so you know, you can go to the walking store, but they're, look for something that's got a little arch support into it and you'll feel a lot more comfortable. A little more support. A little um, more support. During the summer. Um, people during the summer are walking around barefoot. We kind of already, yeah. you know, they're at the beach, they're doing things. What if people step on something? Hmm. <laughs> so you can step on a lot of things, right? <laughs> so goat heads are particularly bad around this area. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't, and I would not advise a step on one of those things because they will, they will cause some damage to the bottom of your foot. They sure will, but they will, they once will. you've stepped on something, you know, your feet are on the ground all the time. They're kind of dirty. 
you know, because you're walking on the ground. Do you have any right. tips for people who might, you know, well, get injured while stepping on something at the beach or something? What should they do? Should they come see you guys to get, get I would, that treated? You know, if you did it like, you know, like, and you saw, I mean, certainly if you feel something like inspect right away, because if you can see it, you know, let's pull out. So try and if you feel it, stop your step if you can get, you know, sit down, inspect, see if you can pull something out. Sometimes the, even pine cones or uh, pine needles um, do things like that. So um, inspect. And if you're, you know, out and about when you go home, soak your feet in some warm salt water because salt, salt's a great antibiotic. Okay. And so you ever think nothing really grows in a salt field. So it, it will kill things, you know, like bacteria and other things. Get. So that would be really good. Um, and clean, clean your feet. And just inspect it for a few days and watch for things. Now, if it's truly a puncture wound, like you step on something and your foot, your you know your skin's broken, it was punctured, uh, rusty nail or something, a piece of glass or something like that. And it's, you know, but something with a puncture, that's actually something that should be, you should go to the doctor right away because the puncture wounds tend to really get infected. Right. And so you want to get on antibiotics. And soaking alone won't tend to do it. Um, take care of that. So those really bad wounds. Those are really bad. And you know, one of the things, you come to our office because we can take care of, um, we have like on-site ultrasound, which allows you to look for foreign bodies or, you know, a lot of times I've seen things that are small and, you know, they're just under the surface of the skin and they've got callus around them. So it's like a little trimming of the callus and te teasing of it. You can a lot of times find the little superficial foreign body that's there. Let you guys handle that. Let let us handle it. If it <laughs> do the simple things yourself. I mean, I'm always for like people taking care of things themselves. Don't I don't think you have to run to the doctor for everything. But you know, so do those simple things. And if it's not, then you know, then then go to the doctor. And if it is a puncture wound, though, you know it's puncture wound. That it really is a doctor kind of thing. You shouldn't, and you should get seen right away for that one. So be careful when you're out walking barefoot, and yes. and, <laughs> and also get some good supportive flip flops during yes. the summer months. Those, and those, cream. Those cracked heels. Those cracked heels need some cream. All right. Yeah. And and one thing about if, you know, if your skin, if you're really prone to callousy cracked skin, you can, you know, a regular moisturizing cream won't always do it because they, it will cause, um, it, you know, callus is like kind of waterproof. So I always say it's like water off a duck's back. It just doesn't go very well. So you can get something. There are creams that have cal, that have kind of a callus breaker, breaks down callus. Those are with urea or something even by Costco, I think Lachydrin, Amalactin. So something folks can get their hands on at, at a normal store? To pretty much, yeah, you usually can find urea, you know, um, creams at stores. Um, um, de definitely I know you can find Amalactin, I've seen it in Costco before. All right, and if people have really persistent Come to, come, come to us, come and, and if they can't find the creams that I'm talking about, and they really, you know, they can always actually stop by our office because we actually just sell these kind of common products, and you really don't need to be a patient to buy these common products. And you don't need a prescription. You don't need a prescription. You come in and say, yeah, I saw that doctor, I have this cream. Can I get some of that foot cream, urea? And we'll sell you some. And we, and we don't charge an arm and a leg for it either. Dr. Victoria Melhuish is here from Sierra Foot and Ankle. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right, it. some great summer foot tips. Thanks thank for being you. here. And thanks to all of you for joining us for this week's edition of It's Your City, brought to you by Indie Film America. Check them out on Facebook or email IndieFilmAmerica at gmail.com for more information about how you can enroll your child in their upcoming uh, youth film camp. If your business is interested in sponsoring a future edition of It's Your City, please contact Darla at the address shown on your screen. I'm your host, Courtney Bloomer. We'll see you next week.